When I was, I look at some picture when I was with a certain man, I was ugly. So much sin was in the man that it transferred to me. And I got so ugly. I was looking at myself like, Whoa, yeah, man, this is Richie Spice representing for Jamaican chat. Hey, hear that? Yeah, it's Jamaican chat. We are talking about. Oh, na na. <laughs> I see you pulling close my distance. Jamaican chat. Bang. Did I tell you I used to buy my little vibrator? This little vibrator thing. And I tell you, that's a sinful thing. Wow, go on, my people. Bless up everybody and welcome back to jamaican chat and you don't know my people with there with a hot one very hot one so may i beg you to like share subscribe on the video here and you don't know i forgive father god thanks for life thanks so we can do that video here my people all right on the don't see what i go on on the screen lady sir minister marian hall her name is hot in the in the streets my people all right i want to don't see what I'm going. minister marian and did a live yesterday and she addressed several things my people she talked about her past in terms of certain person she used to be with and said she oh she used to ugly back then she also went on to speaking about vibrators my people you understand so i have the full thing for no more to stay on upon it and people this life was really about brit y'all must know that brit had a situation a couple days ago wherein they beat her badly you understand and she did send a message for brit real quick so i'm gonna hear what go on as well run brit run use your platform to give god glory i don't know what transpired between you and that man i'm not coming here to judge i'm not a judge i just want you to be safe more people and it did not stop there because minister marian al is building a church valued at us two million dollars more people all right and she's building that church and she's getting a lot of backlash from her fans they're saying like the most horrendous things people make her check it out real quick so a seed remember we're trying to buy a building and it's not impossible it's not impossible to you know to buy to buy it based on faith so let us pray that you know by faith god will send some people to so there's a go on me on the on all the pages and yeah my people so i don't know if i want to contribute to the project the GoFundMe, it's US $2 million that she's trying to get raised for the church so we can follow our platforms and also make on a contribution. But my people, I know just that. There's a lot of backlashes coming in just for that statement that she made. And I'm just going to put up some comments that her fans is saying. You can see that these persons right here, they, they aren't so happy with what is happening. You understand? You have people where I say, these are the things that cause people to doubt your ministry. Why in hell would we want to build a church for over 300 million Jamaican dollars? Makes no sense whatsoever. Use the money you used to buy on Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Please disable that Go fund me and leave poor people alone. All right, people, that is just one of the comments that I actually read out loud. And I really did a search through for finding a positive comment for bring tone as well. I couldn't find none. What I got to my people? May I got to drop the rest of the live. And I don't know, be snippets I've been doing throughout the beginning of this video until now. So I got to drop the live right now. And you can check it out in its entirety. You understand? And also get the comment section active. Tell me what you not think about it. Tell me what you think about the, the, the Sumfest performance. And tell me what you think about no And Let's us talk about that two million dollar, two million US dollar church that Miss Minister Marian Al wants to get going, my people. You don't know, Managa Bashar is an open platform. Want to hear what everybody think. Anyway, my people, you don't know me. I'm going to just like share subscribe on the video here 
hear some mega jump off, please stay tuned for the live. Big up on yourself, Jamaican chat. I'm out. I tell you, I used to buy my little vibrator, this little vibrator thing, and I tell you, that's a sinful thing. Christian, leave it alone. Sinful. It was better than any man I ever been with, and the thing keep calling me. I said this, who made this thing? Put it in the drawer, and it's pulling me to the drawer. Cause you want more. I had to throw it out in the garbage. Anything that pulls you to it and not to God, you don't need to have it. Yes, there is an expiration date on it. You don't want that expiration date to come while you're in sin. There's so many of, of you, like me, I used to be. I will not allow anything to take me away from God. Man. Tata. Tata. Man. If you have your I know you're looking for somebody, I heard, that looks just like me. I heard you're looking for somebody who talks just like me. I heard you're looking for somebody who walks just like me. But I'm here to tell you, that woman, she ain't me. Because I've changed, yes, oh, I've changed, yes, I said I've changed. For the better, how oh, I've changed. Yes. I may look like you, but I'm not you in here. You know, God dressed me up the other day, and none of you understand it. I don't think any of you. I didn't dress myself. But God dressed me like you all, Britt. Mm-hmm. Share. And he did it to get your attention. So that I can speak to you and let you know I was just like you. Yeah? Please, honey girl, come on. Child, you need Jesus. The fame? Mm. If I was famous, you'd be all over me. Remember that song? Oh, he said, when me you so wind up, every man who does show up, no, me say, who only goes, me no see money pull up, I do some of them, they think them can't shut me up, me to one nine feet for them, till Satan back up, and he go, if I was famous, yes, if I was famous, you would love me, if I was famous, yes, if I was famous, you'd be all over me, yeah, mm. if I was famous, you would be spending your money on me. Because when I was famous, you used to gift me with jewelry. But now I ain't famous. You no longer want a part of me. May the Lord God put an expiration date concerning your sins today. Not just you, but all that are living according to the will of the devil. When I was famous, my shows would be packed. Ooh, people rate you. It's like they praise you. Because you are like them. Sinners, ooh, praise you. But when you give your life to... Listen, their praise is not real praise. It's, it's, it's temporary. You walk away now. Did you see what happened at Sunfest? A lot of people stay back. But some wouldn't stay. They go. And my sister was arguing with God. Oh, they put her on too early in the morning when people were ready to sleep because they're tired. And God opened up Psalms 1 and, and, and brought it to life in a different way to tell her who is there need to be there. Who is gone didn't need to go. But God used the internet 
for his glory. So, Britt, I know you didn't expect what happened to you the other day to happen, right? Because you're a star, right? You're respected, right? They love you, right? They love you, right, Britt? They love me. Yeah. They, they would never do that. No matter who. But you got drunk, Britt. And something happened. God is going to use that. To open your eyes. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. That. I wrote some things down. But I want you to know God love you more. I love you all. When did that. Listen. You're out there. And you're seeking attention. You're seeking more hits. More likes on your page. And you're doing stuff. You know, because you're going to get more likes by this. Yeah, you're going to get more. Yeah, yeah. A lot of pages are monetized. I want to monetize mine too. The day is coming. When the devil give you gifts, you have to pay him back. But you have to pay him. Not just one time. You're going to constantly pay him. You will never stop paying back the devil for the gifts that he gives you. When you get famous, you got to pay him back. Yeah. He's going to take, take, take from you. And he's going to give you more misery. More pain. But when God gives you gifts, your gifts make room for you. Did you know that? God gives you a gift to speak. Because you get attention, right? Use your mouth and speak for the Lord. Use your platform and encourage young people like yourself. Amen? Amen. Do it, Britt. Go to God with your concern. Go to him with your brokenness. A lot of you, you cover your brokenness. You, you know, uh, and you act as if, oh, it's all right. It's not all right. You're not all right. Sylvia, bless you. You're not all right. And you know you're not all right. Because when you leave the parties and go home. I remember leaving the parties, going home. And I just find myself just, what happened tonight? You know, how did I get home? I drove home one night. Didn't know how I got home. Stop going out there. Seeking. To please people. Seeking to get another hundred followers. Or a thousand or whatever. Stop lowering your standard. Lowering yourself. Because of likes. Yeah? Ah, oh, I see Nikki sending money for you the other day. I like how cool you were. You're like, why you chose to give me money? Her reason was... I like you. God love you. And as I say, your gift will make room for you. God love you. He loves you more than anybody. He loves you so much that he laid down his life for you. Yeah? I'm talking to people. Listen, you have some people who think that God is something to be played with, to be toyed with. God is not to be mocked. You can't get up today and you say, oh, you're in God today and tomorrow you're gone with the devil. Are you confused? Not you, Brit. I'm just talking to people who think they could do, you know what I'm saying? There comes a time when you have to choose. And the time is now. Brother Wayne, God bless you. The time, I see you. God bless you all for coming on today. But listen to this. When the devil gives you grief, eventually he's going to want everything you got. Even your children, your business, your mind. <laughs> Once he gets your mind, oh Lord, you think all is well. When nothing is well. This, the devil, Satan will break you to pieces.
He will rob everything. The Bible tell you in John 10, 10, the thief come out to kill, to steal and to destroy. But the Lord Jesus said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. What does abundant life mean? Even now, you all kind of things happening around you, but you, you know you're living by grace. You know you're saved by grace. You know the favor of God is upon you. So even in the midst of the battle, you know we're God is. He's with you always. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. But you've got to open up and come to him. Are you going to go back out there? You, you know how you, how, how you make me feel laying down there? You know it's only going to get worse if you continue, Brit. I don't know you, but listen, Tracy and God bless you. I know the devil. I know him. I know him and he knows me by name. That's why I say Satan can't overthrow me. Yeah, yeah. None of you, none of you demons can't overthrow me. Half Satan, your poopa can't know me. Him bound some of God people so him owe me. Me come for release them now so no allow me. When God dressed me up the other day and everybody caught it, I went to God and I cried. I said, God, I don't understand. I don't understand why you send me out there because I don't understand. Why you dress me up like that? He's doing a new thing. Yeah, Monica, he's doing a new thing. I don't come to lie to you. I don't come to kiss you up and love you. Sin is sin. Hell is real. God. God is real. There's salvation in no other name but that name of Jesus. That name, demons hear it and them tremble. Yeah, them run to the pit. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. He's a mighty God. The songwriter wrote it. What a mighty God. We serve. Serve him. Serve him. I'm not just talking about you, young lady. But I'm telling you, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Yeah? Young man, whatever you and Brit have. Yeah? Find her. Apologize to her. Ask God for forgiveness. May the grace of God rest upon you. So you don't put your hand on another woman. Not, not that alone. But so that the anger in you, because sometimes people, you are a man. You are a human being. People will push you. There comes a time when people don't even respect you no more, honey. You have men who just want to be with you because of that fame. And when that fame done, that's it. I'm living. People will be your friends until... That fame we're off. Because there is a time. A lot of people, they think they're still famous and they're just famous in their mind because God said, I'm giving them strong delusion. So they believe, oh, this is, I'm famous. But famous to who? In whose eyes? Can fame take you to heaven? Can all the money buy your way into to, to heaven? Hmm? Is there a mansion for you up there? Yes, there is if you repent. If you turn your life over to God, yeah, confess your sin to him. Call upon him and you will be saved. And I care zero if any of you want to trace me. Are you British if you trace me? Me and you there. Me don't care. May I tell you the truth? May I tell you? May I trace you? Know? I will tell you the truth. Because what the devil does, he don't want us to make it into heaven. He don't want us to know. Listen. When, 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 when him name Lot, look and him see how the pastor over there so look green. Was it green? Green for how long? Green for how long, Chini? Chini, green for how long? Sister Juliet, tell them. How long is it? It look green until you get closer to it. When you get closer to it, that is when you realize. Because he didn't know what was going to happen over Saddam Day. Over there so nice man, we 